DNC leader declares Trump no longer America's president, introduces real president. You have got to be kidding me. The left needs to give it a rest. You would think with their disastrous track record in politics that they would work at making their party better, more appealing to mainstream Americans. Instead, they seem to live in some rainbow-colored communist fantasy land where things are not what they really are. Including Trump being president. I hate to break it to them, but Trump won the election fair and square and he is indeed president, no matter what they declare or proclaim. This time, the Democrats have crossed a line. Tom Perez, the leader of the Democrat Party, recently introduced who he calls the real president at a Democratic National Committee fundraiser. No. It was not Hillary Clinton, although they are still stuck on that as well. This time, it was Barack Obama. They are still dreaming of Obama having a third term or better yet, serving as dictator for life. The Democrats have made it clear from the beginning that they don't recognize President Trump as the legitimate president and are doing all they can to remove him from office. It's never going to happen and Obama is never going to be president again. Obama's message to Democrats is somewhat surprising and almost realistic. Stop dreaming of him. If the left can't trigger an election or incite revolution, they just pretend that things are the way they want them to be. They use violence, threats, harassment, dishonesty, stacking the courts, whatever it takes to mold society into a version that they want, not what Americans want. Their latest never-ending goal is impeachment, except there is no there there on President Trump. You can't impeach a sitting president just because you don't like him. Their fake dossier hand-picked special counsel and infiltrated intelligence agencies have all failed them. So, instead, they play obstructionist to the hilt, while lurching all the way to the communist left. From the Daily Caller Trending, breaking, $1.80 bill of Soros money just intercepted, he could officially go to prison for years. Democratic National Committee, DNC Chairman Tom Perez introduced former President Barack Obama as America's real president at a DNC fundraiser Thursday night. Let's give it up for the real president of the United States, Perez said at Thursday's fundraiser, Politico reported. Obama reportedly then told the crowd of Democratic donors that they are right to be concerned about Trump's presidency. Perez's false descriptor for Obama is just the latest instance of prominent Democrats abandoning political norms in order to undermine President Trump. It doesn't matter that Trump has kept his promises and that America is freer today and Americans are far better off under him as president. The left is blind and deaf to facts. They just want their leader back even if it finishes off this great country. If Hillary Clinton had prevailed, she would have gutted the Supreme Court and she would have destroyed this nation once and for all while enriching herself. Perez has no credibility whatsoever, but he loves Obama and what he stands for. Reality is a funny thing and Perez needs to learn to live with it. Americans do not dream of a socialist utopia like Perez and the Democrats do. Obama is still out there and he's still trying to control and run this country through his minions. He's still targeting President Trump in every way possible. He has slammed Trump more than a dozen times since leaving office and he has a grassroots army under multiple names that is attacking Trump. Ever wonder where all these protests come from and how they are coordinated? Immediately after President Trump announced Brett Kavanaugh as the Supreme Court nominee, there were protests in front of the Supreme Court. That was Obama's doing through a group called Indivisible. Indivisible a practical guide for resisting the Trump agenda issues call scripts for each issue, including Obamacare, immigration, civil rights, education, the EPA and how to stop the confirmation of Brett Kavanaugh. It's designed by Obama and his sidekick, Valerie Jarrett. This operation is located in Washington, D.C., with chapters in major cities and is closely partnered with Act Blue. You will find all of this closely connected to George Soros as well. Do not wait for the perfect message, don't wait to feel a tingle in your spine because you're expecting politicians to be so inspiring and poetic and moving that somehow, okay, I'll get off my couch after all and go spend the 15-20 minutes it takes for me to vote, Obama said in his first public comments in months, which only a few reporters and no cameras were allowed in for.
because that's part of what happened in the last election. I heard that too much. Boil it down, Obama said. If we don't vote, then this democracy doesn't work. Except it's not a democracy, it's a republic. Obama, being the masterful deceiver that he is, calls what is unrealistic actual reality. I am not surprised that instead of replacing what we had done with something better, they just have done their best to undermine and erode what's already in place, he said. Of course people are going to be angry about that, because if you had health care and suddenly somebody who says they're going to make it better comes in and makes it worse, you'll be pissed. You should go out and vote. Obama called that an opportunity for Democrats. The master organizer went on. Reality has an interesting way of coming up and biting you, and the other side has been peddling a lot of stuff that is so patently untrue that you can get away with it for a while, but at a certain point, you confront reality, he said. The Democrats' job is not to exaggerate, the Democrats' job is not to simply mimic the tactics of the other side. All we have to do is work hard on behalf of that truth. And if we do, we'll get better outcomes. Spoken like a man who still sees himself as president just as Perez sees him that way. Obama is gone, deal with it. I think my lucky 